Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at building an Angular app using the buildspec.yaml file. So let's get to it. So once again, I'm looking back at my buildspec.yaml file and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove the phases I'm not going to use for my Angular build. One of them is the install phase because we're not going to be installing any packages yet. The pre-build we are going to keep and build and post bill we're also going to remove for now. Okay, so we don't need them right now. We'll get them back in later. I'm also going to remove the finalies for each phase because I don't care to do anything if it fails. So now we've got a very small uh, build spec .yaml. And for the pre-build phase, instead of echoing out some information, I want to grab all the node packages that I need in order to build my Angular app. So you can do that simply by just going npm install, right? and that is all you need to do. All right, so this will, in the pre-build stage, go and grab all the packages that are needed to run the ng build, and that is all we need. Now for the build command, I created a custom command in my package.json, if you remember, and that was basically the build colon ci. Now if I can quickly show you that again, if I come back over to my package.json, all it essentially did was go ng build dash dash prod. All right? So it's doing a, a production build of our Angular app. So I'm just running that here. And that's pretty much all we need to do in the build spec.yaml file. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna check this in and we're gonna jump back over to code build and see what happens. So I'm back at my build project, and as you can see down below, we've got another successful build that just happened. So if I click into this now, we can look at the log file. So we scroll down a bit, we get to the pre-build step here, and we can see now it's running the npm install command. So you've got the you know, all the stuff that it usually does when it runs npm install on your machine, all that's going on here. Then the pre-build ends. We didn't have any issue um, installing the packages. After that, we run a command of npm run build colon ci. That ultimately translates to this ng build dash dash prod. And then underneath that, if you've ever seen how ng build dash dash prod outputs, it outputs the files that were built. So no issue, no error. We've been able to successfully build an Angular app inside of a code build run on a code build project. The other thing to take into consideration as well is if you come into phase details, you'll see now that pre-build took 24 seconds and that's because now we're downloading all the packages and the build obviously took 31 seconds because we're actually doing the ng build, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to show for this video. In the next video, we're gonna investigate artifacts and how we can use artifacts in our build pipeline. So I'll see you in the next video.